Hello, I'm Ray here and you're watching Moto NZ. We're at Burnbuster on some brand new beaters. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so we're into the forest now, and I've already been out for a ride actually with Matt. We've done a wee warm up ride. I was on the uh, X trainer, which he's on behind me. He was on this bike. We are now making our way through what is a very, very sloppy section. It was not like this a couple of hours ago, that's for sure. Huh? Oh, I couldn't decide, I couldn't decide which track to take. <laughs> My bike decided to go right and I went left. <laughs> track, these uh, roots are really popping through. Oh, here's some mud. Go around that corner. Things definitely warming up. Heading for a high of 20 degrees today, which is probably the warmest trail ride I've been on in a very long time. Quite hard, actually. This uh, sloppiness, it was nowhere near this bad this morning. I just pull over here and let these people go past me. Whoopsies! You there, Matt? The X Trainer. X Pro versus X Trainer. He's on a 300. I'm on a 250. Oh, she's sloppy. Careful, careful. Yikes! Yep. 
careful, careful, careful. a lot of water. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I tell you what, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> this bike, this bike is awesome. I am very wet. Uh, the bike's so beautifully weighted that I can just lean back on those water ruts and uh, lift the front wheel over the hole. But the X trainer will hopefully along at a low speed or nicer. Slow down, slow down, slow down. What are we up to here? Grade three up there. Hey? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> hey? Who's that? Oh, sorry. Now, is that for a 
Eu moro. Oh shit. Oh, yep. Is this the seat one that we came down last time? Oh, yeah, this isn't too bad actually. This is a long downhill. Maybe. I might I think it might be longer actually. Because it was very steep but it wasn't that long. Ew, that is deep. Hey, one each. Oh, you had to drop it, drop it on the expansion chamber side. Fuck. Don't you know nothing about two strokes? No. <laughs> I know, it's like fuck off. Hey, drifting. Oh, that's a great three. Damn, we should have done that. Slow fucking down, you bastard. This might be the steep bit. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. He understood the assignment. Holy shit, this is steep. And for anyone watching, yes. I have the engine killed, I'm riding the brakes, and I'm walking down this hill. Holy crap. Yeah. Yes. This is definitely it. Although there's a hell of a there's a hell of a train track in the middle of it. That you're not going to get out of in a hurry. At least you don't have to put too much effort into right up it. I reckon it might be easier actually if you can stay out of that rut. Hey, start up you bastard. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Put a slide on. Hey, 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 As difficult as that was, I mean, it wasn't overly difficult. You just had to take your take time and be be careful. But that's the kind of stuff I enjoy more than just wide open trails. I think. What have we got here? Crew cut. Oh, 
Was this? Oh, this is what we did. Oh, was it? Oh no, Mr. Enduro Rider, follow me this time. Right, up, up the hill. Up the hill. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up. Yes. Where you go? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Where you go? Oh yeah, this is the bit. I waited here for ages. Yep, might be coming. Oh, that's the end of the trail. Huh, right there. Okie dokie. This is Niall from Stuff. Hello. Hello. Have you ever ridden a dirt bike before? No. Have you ever ridden a motorbike before? Yes. Great. Okay, we're halfway there. These are dirt bikes. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, the difference between a road bike and a dirt bike is that a road bike, you want to maintain traction. A dirt bike, it is okay to lose traction. Otherwise, it's the same thing. Yeah. We're gonna take you off into the Midas demo loop across the way. It's a very short loop, it's about 300 meters, but we'll do a couple of loops of that, see how comfortable you get. We're gonna put you on the X trainer, which is a 302 stroke, but don't let that uh, worry you. It's a very relaxed, uh, easy to lug bike. Some of these other ones, are, they're a lot more uh, angry. Yeah, you gotta be on it. The baby one. Yeah. Okay, so you jump on it, we'll get ready. This is what happens when you take a journalist who's never been on the dirt, on the dirt. Oh nice, she went through the first corner without falling off. That's a win already. Jesus Christ, give it a minute though. <laughs> okay, so here's your first bit of advice. When you get to those ruts that just go straight through, your back wheel's gonna fall into it, so put your front wheel in it to begin with. Follow the rut. Follow the rut. Well done. Did I risk it? No, no I saw back. you and I win it. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's never been on dirt before, you're, you're already uh, doing alright. Yeah. This is just sheer, unadulterated panic. <laughs> Who's panicking? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, <it's fine. laughs> yeah. I think I scared him. Is that mud on your back or are you shitting yourself?
I've made it up to second gear, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I have no idea where the red line is on this. Don't worry about it. They're two stroke, they're major rev. It's more about it's more about ensuring you've got the power to do what you want it to do than worrying about red line. Nice. Woohoo! First lap. How are we feeling? Are you dead? What do you reckon? What are you thinking? Give us your uh, unfiltered thoughts. Uh, right now I'm not thinking. Don't worry about neutral, just kill the engine. <laughs> Arm pump? Yeah, a little bit. It's so much harder than I thought. Like, I didn't expect this to be easy, but it's so much more physical than I was expecting. So that mud stuff is way more physical, but when you get out into the wide open trails, you can just stand up, get yourself comfortable, find a gear you're happy with, and just cruise. Yeah. There you go, open up. Isn't that awesome? We both just slap off and leave them behind. Come on, pass me. There you go. Where are we going, Matt? Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Right at the fork. Look at that egg trying to go. There you go, Niles. Where did you get the big Good work. For a first time, eh? Sorry. the right. Depends. How fucked are you? Okay, this is Niall and Matt. And Niall's just completed his first ever trail ride. 18 kilometers of the Motor X loop. Plus what? Four loops of the demo track? I think it was four, yep. Yeah. What do you reckon? It's bloody hard work, I'll be honest. Um, but the risk to reward factor is huge. If you can make it through, well, the demo loop was great because it's harder than what we do on the trails which means that in the same way that like if you learn to drive in a really bad manual car you can drive any manual car if you can do that you'll pretty much be okay with a lot of that stuff up there there was quite a few bits towards the end which were very slippery very wet with both ends of the bike doing this which is not comfortable didn't enjoy that but 
think I hit a few jumps, which is cool. That much air, still air, it still counts. Um, yeah, no, it's fantastic. Absolutely had a great time. How was it, Molly? Matt, you spent a bit of time following Niall around. What yeah. do you reckon for a first time on dirt? I think he's lying. I think he's done it before, right? Right. He didn't fall off. He only said oh shit a few times. Um, no, I think he did all right, eh? Uh, I was expecting him to eat shit at least once and he didn't and I'm slightly disappointed in that, I've got to admit. I, I, yeah, sorry about that. I, I did manage to stay on the bike the whole time. But on the which, plus side... I managed to stay on the bike the whole yeah. time. Yeah. How, how did you find that bike in terms of like riding? Because it's a two-stroke. You're right here in an EV. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> from, literally one end of the spectrum to the other. Yeah. Um, You're lucky you didn't get lynched in this thing. I, I got a lot of looks, I'll be honest. <laughs> a lot of looks. A lot of, yeah, a lot of looks, a lot of colors of people. But um, yeah, no, the bike was great. Yeah. It's so easy to ride, even though it's a two-stroke and it's got that peaky power yeah. power band. It doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, it's nice and light too, right? It's sort of yeah. It's not like your, your road bike where you're like, oh my god, this is heavy. Yeah, yeah exactly. When you're fighting the bike half the time, with that, you're it's fighting your own road habits more than anything yeah. else. Um, but the biggest thing that I found um, coming from the road onto the dirt was having been trained out of target fixation that was like a big thing because you look at oh, and this you look at a tree and you're like I don't want to hit that tree if you keep staring at it you got to hit the tree yeah. but if you hit the tree it's like whatever you, you fall off you look like a bit of a dick and you might win yourself hopefully that's all that happens but on, on the road if you look at a tree at 100 kilometers an hour yeah you don't it's a different story <laughs> hey talk to us about the gear because the guys at motogear.nz kitted you out oh, you got oh, some boots but you got motor, motocross gear you got a helmet bloody good um, I don't think I'm going to be returning it anytime soon. I don't think I'll accept it back in this condition. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's been fantastic. That, that helmet is beautiful. It's so nice. Um, it's, you know, I didn't really notice it on my head. The goggles are great. Everything felt nice and snug. Um, this gear, I mean, I don't have much to compare it to, obviously being my first time. But I didn't overheat. I felt nice and cool. But still, I didn't feel any. It looks like I've gone through like a war or something. <laughs> well, from, from the waist down anyway. Uh, but Let's check out that helmet. So it's an arrow wrap. It's the same helmet, actually, that I've been running for quite a wee while. This one here, a few war wounds on that with some Oakley goggles. You got the same, actually you got slightly different, but Oakley goggles. Uh, we chucked a, a Cardo Pactor Edge on the helmet, and the helmet itself, comfortable at AF, right? Oh, so good. Really, really good. And not all that expensive. Yeah. Very affordable. How nice. It looks, it looks the business. They do look. They do some cool looking designs yeah. in the Arrow lineup. You look like you're a natural. You look Thank like you. you're there to do business, uh, and we've got the footage to prove it. <laughs> but you actually look alright. Oh yeah, you? I look like a sort of semi, semi professional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I kind of knew what I was doing. Hello and welcome to Sunday Boom Buster. As Matt just put it, the very last day of Boom Buster for this year, mm. 2024. Conditions are terrible, aren't they? Oh, it's horrible. It's, it's just awful. Actually, it's blue sky, beautiful blue sky, not a cloud to be seen. However, it's freaking cold. It's just the wind. Once we move, it'll be gone. Once we get into the forest, it'll be gone. It'll be good. What's the plan for today? Uh, muck around on harder trails, I think. Sort of cruise around and have a bit of fun. Sort of find some grade four and fives. <laughs> All right. Uh, there seems to be a lot. I was having a look at the map before. Uh, seems there's a lot of grade twos and threes, not so many fours and fives. But uh, maybe we should go over a look at the map and kind of come up with a plan, or maybe we just wander around the forest and um, see what we find. So the Beta RR200 is on the trailer, probably not going to get that off today, uh, but we do have the 25X trainer and the 25X Pro 250. I'm, I'm commandeering the 250 today, Matt can uh, suck it up on the X trainer, not that the X trainer is a bad bike at all, but I think he was enjoying the, um, the X Pro uh, a little bit too much yesterday, and I was stuck on the on the 200 which again not a bad bike but you've just got to be on it with the 200 you've got to it wants you to ride it hard it doesn't like to poodle along where the uh the x pro will do a little bit more poodling the x trainer 
we'll poodle all day, every day. I'm looking forward to having that today. You're looking forward to the X-Trainer today? Yeah, well, if we're doing the harder stuff, it tractors up everything, right? Like, it's a tractor of a bike. Yeah. It's a tractor. Oh, it's me, hi. Um, yeah, it's a tractor. Like, we did crew cut yesterday. We went up the really steep um, hill climb that we got separated on last time we did Burn Buster together. Um, and the X-Trainer just lugged up there. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that because it's very low effort. Um, it's such an easy bike to ride. So for doing what our plan is today, of pootling around, trying some harder tracks, I'm actually thinking I'm going to have a better bike. You're going to have the more fun bike, an engaging bike, in terms of um, doing skids out of corners and that. But when it comes to the tough stuff and the nitty gritty, I think the X-Trainer is going to be the one to be on. It's Dad Bod Racing 2.0. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go do some fun stuff. Here we go. And by the way, I've just pulled out my phone and I've hit go on the riser app. So at the end of the ride, we'll be able to do a big loopy loop. And you have just remembered to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. One cool thing about these bikes, right, is that they've got a little map switcher here. So you see you've got the, the rain and the and the sun logo, and the white light is rain, and the blue light is sun, which is fast map, more relaxed map. You get a bit more torque in there, but you get a bit more high-end go, go, go on the sun map, which is quite cool. I like to start in rain. Oh, poor kids dropped his bike right on the start line. Yeah, we're into it, team. Woohoo! Oh, this motorcycling thing. How do I do it again? It is. Although my brain isn't calibrated, it's still in sleepy morning mode. All right, what do we got up here? Main trail, pick up sticks. Braid three. All right. Oh, fun beat, motherfuckers. It's funny because I thought I'm, I would like to ride down there, but under my own power. Come on, get the blood flowing. Give me some oxygen to my wrists. Ooh. There's a tight little twisty downhill. And that is that. Okay. Is it? You don't want to do it then. I was, I was going to turn around, but... <laughs> yeah, let's get out of this. No. There's, there's ways around. But there's a way around over there. All right, we'll push the out. Fair, fair. Hill climb, Ashton's Hill. 
Oh, Ashton's Hill main trails. You went left last time, I went straight up, and it was easy as shit. It's a bit looser this time, though. Right, this is apparently the hardest trail we have done at Burnbuster to date. This is a grade four. Uh, there's a log. Oh, come on, you bastard, get over it. Uh, you did it, but you did exactly what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to go off that side of the trail. Pick a, pick a track, any track. This is what feeders are built for. Don't embarrass yourself. Uh, everyone involved. It's the roots I don't like. Oh, clipping pegs on that tree stump. Lucky they fold up, huh? There's all sorts of different trails down here. It's just you. Oh wow, this is this is a hell of a trail. This is cool. This is like that. Yeah. But hell yeah. That one was just tight. This one's like on the side of a mountain. For some reason we're going back up a hill. <sighs> yep. Oh fuck, just hit the pegs on the left hand side and it sent me off to the right. Just gonna catch my breath for two seconds. This is, this is great, I like this. This is hard, but it's great. Yeah, this is a real trail. You're not gonna send a bulldozer up here. Oh, this is a steep little bit. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm vertical. Roll out. Oh, Christ. Yeah. I'll get out of your way. We've got another log to get over here.
I might have to lift my bike over this one. <laughs> Sorry to hold you up. Kill it, we'll lift it over. Yeah, that'll do you. I got it. See if you can maneuver to get on. What's the trainer mean? Uh oh, oh no, wait. Oh shit. It's a fucking big drop. Uh, this is scary actually. Uh oh. This might be a get off the bike and push it down type thing. For me anyway. It's a, it, the track is a drop, but if you go off the side... Yeah, I know, it's in gear, but I'm down. Uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> you hit the front in the ear! Oh yeah, that. I thought it was going to come down and land on you. <laughs> we should have brought Niall here. <laughs> this is the sort of challenge you've got to put yourself in not have somebody put you in. <sighs> I think it's beached. Right. I got the brake. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Come on. There you go. You good? I'm good. Thank you. Like, hug that fern that's right on the on the route. You right? You right? <laughs> this is fun. And this is a grade four.
I couldn't ride up this. I reckon we'd over overheat the bikes if we tried. Oh, we get up the tracks, but those um, those routes we just never get over. Oh, sweetie McGee. <laughs> oh, stop it coming undone, you fucking piece of shit. This is great. I don't feel like I'm at a trail ride, I feel like I'm just in the bush. Double log. I don't want to jinx it, but I think, I think we're at the bottom. I need a break.
We're back. We're back. On the trail. That, that's the up. What were you saying? That goes down that way. We've just come up another one that comes down these hills, but oh, but no one's up there, so we're probably gonna hit a few hill climbs and see down there. All oh, right. That's where we're going to go. Oh, is this like fucking danger down or some fucking thing? Uh, Give it a crack, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, I want to have a look. I want to challenge myself. On second thought, no. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh. Good save. Oh, it's another one of these. Yeah, the one, two of them I passed. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, don't know about that one. being stuck between a fucking log and a half hard place. Yes. Are you talking to me? Ow. <laughs> Did they go down? Yeah, there was a trail down, but this is where the arrows pointed. And I thought, fuck that.
fuck me. Oh, I don't particularly like being, my ass is higher than my head, I don't like it. Come on, where are you? Where's that root? Okay, we're good, we're good, we got this. I'm going to take my goggles off again because I cannot see. Nobody's got their engines running. There's a track just to your left that goes vertical. Why don't you go down there? Yeah, I'm filming. At least they're easy to start. Up, 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 up. Well, otherwise we're stuck on Motorex, we don't get back onto Husqvarna. And I reckon these will be better bikes to do this breakout on than the four strokes. Holy shit, okay. This has been shoot up quite essentially. quite funny I get it I get why people ride two strokes when they're going to do hard stuff these bikes are just so much lighter easier to stop start easier to maneuver easier to get power when you need it absolutely yeah yeah, the way they deliver their power is fantastic, especially these modern two-strokes where you actually have a bit of bottom end. Oh, bugger, I've gone the wrong way here. Hang on, I'm just going to de-goggle. Oh, I've got to say, actually, these, uh, these Oakleys, even in this dark forest where I'm struggling a little bit with the high and low contrast, I can see better with them on. I take them off, and it's almost like we've gone into black and white mode though there's no color they're actually they're they're really good i'm gonna try yeah i'm gonna try and avoid that hole oh, but you couldn't do this on a full well you could but it wouldn't be this easy on a full strike i'm sure uh 
Plus, on a four stroke, you'd be wanting you'd be overheating quite easily without a fan kit. Uh, up or down? I know. It's not like we've got a choice of where we go here, the ruts are so deep. What have you done? You've come off, haven't you? Oh yeah, those trees don't move for you either. That's the deep hole. I'm going left. This is, this is good. Fold. <laughs> I tried to duck my shit under the tape. Uh, come on, how do I pick you up? Oh. oh. Yeah, I got a cramp. My cutting plane was just down there. Just to be clean. Ow. That hurt. Oh. I smell coolant. I smell coolant. Can't see now. Just down there, yeah. But you haven't got far to go. Come on, come up this way. Oh, 